Now, apart from our fingerprints, another unique part of our anatomy is our blood vessel pattern. And based on this, researchers at Nanyang Technological University have developed a way to identify criminals from their digital photos. For example, common internet crimes include child pornography. In these situations, the culprits post online photos or videos of sexual abuse, but they blur out their faces, and this poses a challenge for law enforcers. But if a body part of the culprit in the picture is clear enough, the NTU team says it may just be enough to isolate their vein pattern and that might help police to nab the suspects. So to explain how this method works is Professor Adam Kong, Director of the Cyber Security Lab at Nanyang Technological University. So Professor, thank you very much for coming in today. So it's a very complex process, but it's a fairly simple concept. You uh, compare vein patterns from one picture and to another. How, how does it work exactly? Uh, basically, is that uh, we need to understand how image form. Uh, when the image form is that the one the light that hit the skin and the skin is uh, semi-transparent, that so would back to the camera. And build the semi-transparent set uh, this property, some of the blood vessel patterns information would be hidden in the camera, uh, hidden in the image. What we do in the, uh, this method is that we try to do re-engineering based on the uh, image information. The re-engineering uh, re set method include um, uh, optical methods inside, image processing, and optimization. Okay. So that we can check, check the hidden information in the image for uh, uh, to visualize the blood vessel patterns. Okay, so basically, uh, you find this picture of a culprit or a suspect on the internet. Yeah. His face is blurred out, so you yeah. can't see who he is. But you have a a good clear shot of his arm. Yeah. So you, you isolate that portion yeah. and then you get the pattern of his blood vessels. Yeah. And then you compare that to the actual suspect or a picture of a suspect that you think it is? Uh, the comparison is that depends on the uh, police that they basically or not or okay. depends on the, uh, depends on the uh, suspect already catch or not. Okay. Because uh, sometimes it's that uh, the suspect already in there and then there are one criminal image. We need to compare the suspect patterns and the criminal pattern. Okay, so what would you say are the limitations to this uh, model or this technology? Does it work on everybody? Uh, it would say it would definitely say it's uh, work for everybody because uh, the technology is depends on the image quality, depends on the lighting environments that where the image capture, and uh, also depends on how fat of the persons. Because that uh, if the image do not have the um, the uh, blood vessel information hidden inside, okay. nothing we can do. Okay, so it really sometimes it really all boils down to luck, whether uh, you get a, a good picture or not. Uh, you can say in this way, but what I would say is that uh, in NTU, that what we are doing is that we are not only working on the blood vessel patterns, we are working on a lot of things that to uh, increase our capability for our criminal innovation. Okay, so I mean, you work with Singapore police, so you try to find out from them what kind of evidence they need, mm -hmm. and uh, what have you discovered that would help you tailor your technology for the use uh, in criminal cases so that police can help to you know, find the suspects? Uh, I worked with Singapore Police Force for maybe five years already. Mm -hmm. uh, we have lots of discussion about the, uh, the potential of this technology, how to apply it. Uh, in essence, Singapore Police Force actually said, I researched that uh, some other agents, including uh, US and Canada, said to discuss about how to apply this technology in the ch especially child pornographies. Okay, so this would only work specifically with uh, crimes, online crimes like child pornography. Are there other potential applications? If we can solve the child pornography problem, I am already happy enough, serious speaking. Okay. Because that uh, child pornography is already uh, a big problem in the world. And uh, the number of child pornography images is increasing, number of victims is increasing. So if we can solve it, it's good enough. Okay. Professor, you've been working six years on this and you did an interview back in 2011, three years ago, saying that in three years' time, this technology will be ready for use. Uh, is it ready? Uh, we have uh, several models already. We are already improved from 2001 to now. We have uh, several versions of the uh, blood vessel uh, uh, visualization method. Mm -hmm. And we also, also have a uh, prototype already well. Now is that uh, we need to work closely with the agents has the case on hand. All right, thank you very much. Very interesting. Thank you, Professor, for speaking to us. And that was Professor Kong on how researchers at NTU are using vein patterns to try to identify criminals.